The thing is, people are going to watch the video and they're going to think I'm talking about the new Barrows update where you get 20k prayer XP, but we're talking about something much greater, something much bigger and better. That is essentially buying overheads for your Iron Man, even further than overheads, for free. Um, well, for very little cost from your main account. I think it should be patched. I think Jagex should patch it by simply not allowing you to uh, pick up any more once you've already got at least one on your account. And you have to start the Typo 1 I quest. Um, I don't really care for it. At the end of the day, it's really for early game prayer, but it really does change the game of early game Iron Man, especially hardcore Iron Man, dramatically. You just bought 43 prayer on your Iron, and, you do, and you're using another account to help it, which is why it should be, it should be patched because it's cheating, essentially. You're gonna have people in the comments section, now, this is a well-known strategy, Iron Man know this for years, I read it, but no, okay? It's not well-known, and people who know about it and use it are going to hate me for uploading it, and I hope it gets patched because I relish in other people's like distaste for me exposing things like this. It happens all the time, I always get things like this patched. I do it because I think it's funny and it's free views. It's not a well-known thing, it's about to be, that's for sure. Basically, what you can do, when, if you light a fire in this game, fires don't remember who lit them, right? So you can pick up anyone's ashes as an Iron Man. But you can also do it with Joker Bones. So I got my main account earlier, I bought some Joker Bones, and then I burned the Joker Bones, and then I got my Hardcore to pick up the Joker Bones. So now my Hardcore has 25 Joker Bones, which at the Ectophantus is 60 XP, prayer XP each. So I just buy bones for my Iron Man. I could do it at a much earlier, you could do it, go to go to Hoy so you have easy access to the Ectophantus, or if you're a normal Iron Man, just go to the Chaos Altar, and you could just buy your account, prayer, from your main. What's the XP per hour? It doesn't really matter what the XP per hour is. I don't know what it is. It's not about the XP per hour, it's about buying overheads without having to kill dragons, without having to put any effort in on your account. And you can pretty much just farm overheads for free on an Iron Man by using a main account to buy the bones. I don't know what the XP per hour is. It's, it's not good for late game Iron Man. It's not good for late game prayer training. Like you wouldn't do it past level maybe 50, but you can get overheads like that without having to worry about blue dragons, dragon bones or nothing. You can just cheese your way to it. It's less about being a good uh, XP per hour method and more about being a cheesable way to get overheads super early with literally zero risk. Plus the dragon bones tripled. Bullshit they did. It's been like two hours. And I only did it once. And the Joker Bone price has already tripled. People just assume Iron Man are gonna smash it after me. I haven't even uploaded the video yet. I told you, price is impacted on the grand exchange by opinion, not by fact. Been preaching it for years, I'm telling you now. People are so dumb that they wear 3K right now. They don't even pop up on my Iron Man screen. I, we'll find out. Nah, let's go to the Ectophantus, because I can meet, the, meet him at the Ectophantus, that's fine. We've got 26 we're doing, okay? We're losing Joker Bones by the minute, because I'm not prepared, and I'm incompetent. Did a couple weeks ago, should it still work? Well, let's find out. And if this works, like I said, which is already evident in the stream, there's going to be some cunt going, hey, this is well known in the Rangekin community for years. Uh, no, it's not. But what I'm about to do is break the Iron Man early game prayer grind. If I burn Joker Bones here on the main, and I have the hardcore here. When they're burnt, the hardcore should be able to pick these bones up. Which, disclaimer, I believe it's only 60 XP per bone meal on the Ectophantus, but this is pay to win prayer, especially for early game Iron Man, right? We can't burn there, here we go. Can we see Joker bones? We can, look at that. I'm picking up the burnt Joker bones, which you then turn into bone meal. And you get 60 XP per bone, which is not bad. If you want to rush 43s, uh, you don't need to go to dragons anymore. I'm not taking to heart the fact that I didn't know about this method. I'm telling you that the majority of players in this game don't know about this method. This isn't well-known method. A lot of Iron Man players might know it, but I have never read this anywhere. I've never seen this anywhere. I've never heard this anywhere. Um, and this feels like something that should be patched, which tells me it's not something that's well-known. You may have known about it for a long time, and that's great, good for you, but I can tell you right now, this is not a well-known method in general. I'm gonna make this video and upload it because I think, I can guarantee you this is something that not many people know about, even Iron Man. Um, I'm gonna take advantage of this method for sure in the future because, well, it's it's free prayer XP, right? That's 1500 XP per inventory. Again, that might not sound like a lot for most people, but definitely early game Iron. Um, you don't even have to 
do anything. You just have to, I mean, you ideally just want to do Ghost Ahoy so you have a quick teleport here and get your main account and burn bones. Most Iron Men go to Blue Dragons in Falador or Heroes Guild and then go to the Prayer Altar. But if you're a hardcore especially, you, you could do this. You can get overheads before anything else, to be honest. And if this is such a well-known method, why don't people do it more often? Why don't you see people like Foe doing it or any of the farmers doing it or Bodhi when he does hardcore, right? You could say, oh, because it's cheesy, but they do Rune Arrow selling all the time, which is just as cheesy, right? Which I do as well. This sounds like a method that you should be doing regardless until Jagex fixes it. They might fix it now, especially if I upload this video and, and put it out there. This, they've done that many times in the past, but... How is this not an effective method? This is the easiest room in the raid. It's quite simple. You got a big boy. Look at him, goddamn! Fuck, mate, look at that boy. It's huge!